Much like our commander in chief, I won't be addressing fake media. So if I don't call on you, it's because it's fake media. I'm, I'm a fighter, you know. Sometimes I like to play with my food. I like to beat guys up. I like to torture guys. Sometimes I don't pull the trigger. Sometimes I drop dudes and I smile at them after I drop them. I do what I want and then does nobody tell me what to do or how to do it, you know. I felt like knocking them out because I wasn't going to decision. That's why I pulled the trigger every chance I got because I wasn't going to go to decision. That was my plan. Sometimes in the past, I've been on cruise control kicking a guy's ass so much that I'm like, I don't need to pull the trigger. I'm just out skidding them everywhere. But I could pull the trigger when it needs to be pulled. Because I looked right into his soul when he got up and he wasn't there. And when he came out, he wasn't there. So the, the bigger the fight, the better. The more I train, the more I prepare, you know. My coaches know when it's a big fight, I'm going to be at the gym. If, if they give me some pretender, another actor, I don't know, man. I might not take it. That's why I told Dana, if you want to fight, you want me to fight, take me up on this bet. $200,000, you can't find nobody in the welterweight division that could beat me. up here between Jorge Masvidal and Matt the Immortal Brown. Coming up on 20 UFC fights, here is Matt the Immortal Brown. A lot of people left him for dead after he was susceptible to the submission early on in his career. Went on to produce a seven fight UFC winning streak, won a main event against Eric Silva in his native Ohio. Matt Brown has been in there with some of the best fighters in the game and has beaten a lot of those guys as well. Matt Brown, as tenacious and conditioned as any welterweight on the roster, looking to pick up where he left off tonight. This guy has devastating power to his kicking technique, whether it's to the legs, the body, or the head. If one of those lands, you've got real problems. So as this knockout force makes his way to the octagon, Joe, this is not a guy you want to stand on a napkin in the center of the octagon and trade punches with. You get in a slugfest with this guy, more often than not, you're concussed, twitching on the canvas. You can be sure he'll be looking to make contact and find a home for those heavy hands early and often. Power for days, power in all of his strikes. Scary, scary addition to this division and a guy who a lot of people believe will be an immediate content. This guy has inhuman cardio. The pace in which he keeps is absolutely breathtaking. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Brown is three years his senior. The rest of the numbers are nearly identical. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 24 wins, 16 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado, USA, Matt the Immortal. And now, he's his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. Boxer, holding professional record of 16 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, Jorge Game Red Masvidal. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. Mario Yamasaki draws the assignment here. Here we go, first round, you ready? Are you ready? Let's go! Let's go. 
Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Oh, nice job staying busy. The offensive onslaught continues. Splits the guard and connects with the punch. Oh! oh! He's in deep danger right now. Deep danger. Big knee. The left hook hits home. Oh, high-level defense there. The hook shot is blocked by Gabe. What a brawl. These guys are going off. That oh, he landed an good. uppercut. Hard uppercut to the head. Man, Joe, he continues to leave that head open. His opponent's got to be salivating at this point in time. That jab has been there all night. You got to get that head off the center line. Oh, wow. This could be it right here. There's a nice inside leg kick. Oh, he might be out. Oh, straight right. Body kick, look at that. Slips oh. the ball. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Oh, what a combination. Oh. 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 Nasty combinations here. Oh, here's a hook. Lands a giant kick. He landed a huge jumper oh, cut. Big body kick. And a knee. Oh, big oh. elbow. Lands oh. a nice one, too. He got hurt bad. Man. Nice leg kick. Body kick, look at that. He yeah, runs a little longer on his feet. He's got the Muay Thai clinch. Oh. Big knee to the lever. He's stunned. You can tell that shot hurt him bad in the body. He's down. Oh, he's in big, big trouble here. Oh, how about that? He lands a huge kick. Big elbow. Hard hook. Big straight punch. Right to the liver. He's hurt to the body. Ten seconds to go here. Let's see what happens. Big shot to the liver. He's stunned. He's hurt. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so there's the horn at the end of the round. He got knocked down just before the horn, so he'll walk back to his corner here. We'll see if they can get him physically, mentally back into the fight. What a moment at the end of that round. And here another big shot lands and another knockdown. And here another clean shot lands and another knockdown. Okay, good. Drink some water and breathe. Relax, okay? Not a big deal. We've been knocked down before. It's okay. We're gonna get back up. We're gonna be off. The beautiful Jenny Andrade getting us going. Look for him. Oh. Oh. He's got him hurt here. Oh. Oh. oh! He's down! Wow! Oh. Hard straight punch. Oh! What a leg kick! And we got a fight on our hands! in and secures the takedown. That bruise on his torso is getting much worse. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Oh, a massive elbow from the top. Tries to pass here, but gets shut down. 
excellent posture here. Good shot to the body. Oh, he gets reversed. And he executed a very nice sweep here and wound up in guard. Now he's in half guard. Well, he's got some of the best chokes in the game. He's going for one now. He's out of the arm triangle. In full guard. He's posturing up here. Postures up here and now going the body with that big strike. Nicely done by Gainbrook. Hits the reversal and now in half guard. Brown gets back up again. Nicely done. Oh. He's in big trouble. Kick to the body. He's gone. Ah! And that's going to do it. Oh. A huge roundhouse kick for the knockout. Yeah, Joe, that one is going to be hard to top when it comes to handing out performance bonuses late in the night. A huge kick for the knockout victory, and he couldn't have caught him much more flush. Full force, full extension, and you knew if he connected with that weapon at one point in this fight, it was going to spell the end of the night for his opponent. Mission accomplished right there. And here we see it from a different angle. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. So let's get it to Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Amasaki is called to stop in this contest at 3 minutes, 56 seconds of round number 2. We're playing the winner by knockout, Jorge David Masvidal. So just the way he drew it up here tonight, what a monumental moment and knockout to get his hand raised here tonight. He kept the judges out of it. He has certainly set himself up for a major opportunity here moving forward. But you can be sure tonight is about this knockout. He'll be celebrating deep into the night with his friends, his family, his coaches. Congratulations on a big KO tonight.
matchup between Tyron Woodley and Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. All right, so here he is making the walk to the octagon. He's made this walk before, but never for a title eliminator. If he wins this fight tonight, he is guaranteed a shot at the UFC welterweight title. You know how infested these waters are with sharks at 170 pounds. He's one fight away. Ladies and gentlemen, this man who many of you believe is the best welterweight in the world, now 15 minutes or fewer away from a welterweight title shot. This guy is an excellent boxer, and if the fight takes place standing, he will have a distinct advantage with his striking skill. All right, so here he is, the chosen one, the Ferguson, Missouri native, UFC welterweight champion, Tyron Woodley. I know he's happy to have the Stephen Wonderboy Thompson chapter now closed and a win over Damian Maya, part of this title reign as well. Let's see how Woodley presses forward now as the challenges continue to be stiff. This guy has toughness that you cannot teach. He has an incredible ability to absorb punishment and the mental toughness to come back from devastating situations. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Woodley is three years his senior. Masvidal is two inches taller. The reach is identical. All right, now for the particulars, he is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mile Yamazaki. is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Saitama Super Arena in Tokyo, Japan! It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Walkerweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 17 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, Jorge Gamebred And now the his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 34 wins, 9 losses, and 1 draw. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, USA, Tyron, the chosen one, Wallace I gave instructions to you guys in the locker room. I want you guys to follow my orders at all times. Defend yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Good luck. I am very fired up for this fight. It's been a long time. Let's go. Are you ready? You ready? Let's go. We are underway. All right, so here's the UFC welterweight champion, Tyron Woodley. How does he approach this challenge here tonight? Very stout wrestler on the other side. The takedowns may not be as easy to come by as his fights pass. Thankfully, Woodley can win on the power if need be. He's in big, big trouble. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Well, some people wondered at times if this fighter would ever make his way to the main card. Well, here he is, and rightfully so. He was at the photo shoot earlier this week. He's on the poster for the first time. This is a fighter who deserved his spot on the marquee. Now he has it, Joe Rogan. Let's see what he can do with it. And here we see it from a different angle. Look at the power in that kick. And as soon as it lands, that is the end. And here we see it again. Boom! And he's out. 
So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Let's get to the official decision here once more. Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop to this contest at 33 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Jorge Gabriel So there's the man of the moment, just the way he drew it up here tonight as he gets his hand raised and does so emphatically by way of the KO. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way at the end of the night, I'm not sure. Still a few fights to go. But at the very least, you can be sure his next fight will be a big one. And he will celebrate deep into the night with his teammates, his coaches, and his friends after this monumental victory here under the bright lights tonight. Fighters fight for many different reasons. Some do it for the fame, others do it for the money. Eventually, all of that fades away. Yet going down in the history books as a UFC champion is something no one can ever take. It's proof that for a moment in time, out of all the fighters in your weight class, you were the best in the world. It's the culmination of all your hard work, the fulfillment of a dream. Tonight is your chance to take that gold belt and hear Bruce Buffer say, and new. That kind of glory lasts forever. All right, coming up next, a welterweight championship fight of the highest order between Robbie Lawler and Jorge Gamebred Masvidal. Well, I don't have to tell you guys how hard it is to realize a title shot at 170 pounds. This man has paid his dues. He has taken on everybody the UFC has put in front of them, finished most of those guys, and now after working his way up the ranks, he has realized his first UFC welterweight championship opportunity. Joe, it'll be interesting to see how his style matches up with the champion here tonight. This is his first world championship fight, a tremendous moment in his career. This is what he has been working for his entire UFC career, and there is an amazing amount of pressure on him at this moment. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world. And in a division that has so much depth in that top 15, it's even more remarkable that this man has remained the hunted. The question tonight, with a powerful challenger out of that blue corner, can he walk away and still? The champion is in focus right now. He's making his way towards the cage. His training for this bout has been perfect. Everything ran according to plan. He believes he has a solid game plan and he's ready to step in here and retain his title. Our 
our tale of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. Lawler is three years his senior. The rest is nearly identical. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 18 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, introducing the challenger, Jorge Gabriel Mosita. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer. Holding a professional record of 29 wins, 12 losses, and one no contest. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting at a Coconut Creek, Pelota, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world. This is for the UFC Championship. I want you to be in my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, come back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch gloves, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? Let's Scheduled for five rounds if need be. All right, here we go with round one of this UFC welterweight championship. Oh! He's hurt! Oh, look at this! Who's the oh! left move? The left hook hits home. That's a big uppercut he just landed. Oh, straight right. He's teeing off with some vicious shots. Game Brett gets caught with that. This is crazy. Oh, my goodness. Oh, big right hand there. Huge shots there. Oh, he tagged him. He tagged him with the right hand. Nice knees. Big knee to the body. Game break gets double underhooks here in the clinch. Normally now he'll try to cheat. Oh, that one hurt him. He's clearly in pain. He's trying to hang on there, but he is in big trouble. Hard straight punch. Oh, big left hook there. Well, he is eternally aggressive, but he paid for it there. His head was wide open, and his opponent is able to land the uppercut there. He's going to have to figure some things out here, Joe. Manage his wrist better. I know he's confident in his chin, but right now he's becoming a sitting duck. Big Ooh. elbow. Vicious oh, left hand. A big left hand. Oh, he's down. Big straight punch. Oh, he's going for it here. The champ is rocked. He's in deep trouble right now. Deep trouble. He's trying to hang on. Big body shot. Oh. He's out. It's over. Wow. What a knockout. Huge hook that got him the victory. Yeah, Joe, a near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. Let's see that again. Boom! And he's out. 
So there he is, the undisputed UFC welterweight champion. What a finish he turned in here tonight as he gets it done by way of knockout. All right, the official decision Ladies is in. It resides with Bruce Buff. Call the stop for this contest at three minutes, 11 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new. So some UFC history tonight as we crown a new UFC champion. Congratulations to fighter and team. And man, are they going to enjoy this one. A lot of people not giving them a chance coming in here tonight. And this is a moment that at times people just thought we wouldn't see. New champion here tonight. The longtime incumbent is out. There is a new sheriff in town in this division. And it is going to take a big performance to dethrone the new champion of this weight class. Hey everyone, I'm Megan O'Leavy and it's time for your UFC Minute. The MMA world is buzzing about that incredible performance this past weekend in the main event. Last weekend in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, it was a night to remember for the mixed martial artist whose story has captured the imagination of fans around the globe as he fought the fight of his life when it mattered the most. When the dust settled, Bruce Buffer said, and knew and he was crowned UFC welterweight champion of the world thanks to a memorable performance. That's it for today. Stay tuned for your next UFC Minute, and I'll see you at the fights.